Hey. <coughs> Hey YouTube, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and I am here with another Game of Thrones reaction. We are on season seven, episode four, which is called The Spoils of War. So it's kind of interesting that this particular episode has that name, considering the fact that in the previous episode we saw that Cersei's army actually went to Highgarden and took everything, like all their money probably all their food, and basically allowed herself to be pretty well stocked for the upcoming war. But now with, oh, <laughs> now with the death of Orlana, unfortunately, Highgarden is, there is no one there who is of Tyrell blood to run uh, anything. Uh, I don't know, at this point, it's kind of one of those things where I feel like it's going to keep getting worse for Danny and her army before it's going to start turning the other way around. But very much looking forward to this episode because the first three have been absolutely amazing and I know that this one probably will not disappoint. And I just want to apologize in advance guys if I'm not talking too much during the episode just because these episodes in particular this season have been moving so fast and there's been so much going on and in particular the dialogue has been so dense and delicious and you just can't afford to miss a line because you know one line in this show could turn out to be massive. Please forgive me, I will definitely discuss at the end of the episode. But with that being said, let's jump right in and start watching this thing. Boop. Queen of Thorns, give you one last prick in the balls before saying goodbye. <laughs> Save my confessions for the High Septon. There is no... You can count on the Iron Bank's support. Uh, as soon as the gold arrives. <laughs> it's not getting hasty. <laughs> Bitch better have my this money. Is you. Oh my God. Earth is a ladder. Chaos is a ladder. Baelish said that. To Varys. You don't need me anymore. Not true. No, I don't. Oh, damn. That's all you've got to say. Thank you. Go home, girl. Oh, I'm so mad John's not here for this. Damn you, show. I hope he comes back soon. I remember how happy he was to see me when he sees you. His heart will probably stop. <laughs> However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. Yep. <laughs> Dead serious. <laughs> this is just too much start togetherness. I don't even know how to handle it right now, you guys. Wow, it is crazy how much those three characters have changed since the last time they were together. This is, ah. Meanwhile, back at Dragonstone. Your Grace, there's still no word from the Unsullied. What happened? Many things. Girl! Many things. Mm-hmm. Mm, right. Spill that tea, girl. They fought together against their common enemy. Mm -hmm. Despite their differences, despite their suspicions. Together. Boom. I will fight for the North. Good job, John. When he bend the knee. Oh, Jesus. This again. <sighs> well. Guess we're all dying. My people. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. I'm gonna burn just shit. Just this. My yeah. enemies are in What do you think I should do? What? Whoa! Just a visitor. I can go find the Master of Arms to you, my lady. He didn't beat the Hound. That's right. You did. God shame of you. 
You swore to say. <laughs> Not enjoy this. This is awesome. <laughs> They're totally besties now, aren't they? Who taught you how to do that? No one. Truth? King Snow, isn't it? No, that doesn't sound right. Nah. King John? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Forgive me, but may I ask a question? No. Of course. Speak See you right. <laughs> what you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. Jamie. Break on. Dick on. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you fought bravely at High Guard. at least burned his hair off to teach him a lesson. Oh my god, you can't end it there! What? Oh my god, y'all. This show needs to stop ending. Like, I need to stop being breathless and like completely mentally spent after these episodes. I can't. What? Where do I start? Wow. Okay, this episode was lit. It's all there is to it was it was ridiculous. It was off every chain. Every chain. They're like the show keeps setting the bar <laughs> higher. And like I can't even think of another show right now that could even come close to the show right now. As far as like just the plot and just the cinematography and the cinematic level effects. Like I can't even right now, you guys. I'm serious. I can't. Reunions. Uh, let's start with that again. We had Bran last week, which I feel like, like I said, kind of fell flat with the whole thing with him being all like in his three-eyed raven weird mode. But having Arya come back and just be just her next level self, you know, with just the whole thing with outsmarting the idiots at the gate to disappearing on their watch, <laughs> um, to showing Brienne, uh, Brienne that she's not the same little helpless girl that she knew not that long ago. Just, oh, that was such a great introduction, reintroduction of Arya to the people who knew her as the 
you know, little little Arya uh, several seasons ago. I kind of said last uh, episode, I, I remarked about the fact that I think that Sansa is going to start having some issues here when she starts to realize that out of her siblings, she's become basically the least remarkable. I mean, I mean, in terms of like overall crazy new stuff. I mean, like I said, I mean, John, her brother, you know, who's the bastard, the one she's looked down on. He's now king of the north. Everyone looks up to him. Everybody thinks he's amazing. And he, he is. He, he's pretty badass. Uh, and now you've got her younger brother, you know, Bran, the th three-eyed raven who can see shit and knows everything. And now she just saw Arya basically kick Brienne's ass, a woman who's literally four or five times her size. Like, you, the look on Sansa's face was pretty much what I expected. Like, she's not really happy, she seems disturbed. I think she really, I would not be surprised if the next conversation she has with Littlefinger is gonna be about like, I'm the only one, like how are my siblings all like this next level and evolved and I'm like, you know, and I'm not. I feel like now that she's seen that Arya has become this self-sufficient kind of bad, not even kind of, just a self-sufficient badass that doesn't really need her big sister's protection anymore. I think that's something that's gonna kind of disturb Sansa a little bit because I think out of all of them, she's kind of been the most victimized, I guess. Glad that Arya's there. I'm wondering how long she's gonna stick around, however, because I think she doesn't trust Littlefinger. I know that. And Bran, very interesting that Bran kept his mouth shut with, I mean, it was a smart move not to let on too much to Littlefinger about what he may know about him, but I already think that Bran will be a little bit in danger uh, because you know I think that little comment that he made about um, chaos is the ladder that's a that's a line that Littlefinger said to Varys way back inside season one or two I can't remember which one but it was a while ago and it's a conversation that Bran would have had no business hearing so you saw the look on Peter's face he made the connection like how does this kid know that I said that because I don't tell a lot of people this so um, I think Baelish, you know him, he's always calculating and now that he sees that Arya is someone who can likely kill him now and that Bran could expose things he doesn't want exposed, I just feel like, you know, he's gonna make a move on one of them or try to use Sansa to make a move on one of them. So, I don't know, I, I just, oh, I just really wish Littlefinger was not at Winterfell. Interesting, um... <sighs> I don't know, I don't really want to talk about the whole Jon and Daenerys thing just because I don't ship it like that. I mean, I, I get it. Like I saw last episode, they were getting those looks and I'm like, oh, come on. And I know there's a lot of folks out there that are about the Jon and Daenerys and they say, oh, but the Targaryens have been doing that for centuries. It doesn't mean it's right. Just because someone's been committing murder, you know, in their family for generations doesn't mean that murdering is suddenly okay because it's a family tradition. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the whole, Cesting is not my thing. I'm not about it. So sorry, I don't ship it in that way at all. I do love the idea of John and Daenerys being partners and working together and being, you know, a good family because, you know, John is a family man, but I don't want it to go beyond that. I really want praying that somehow Bran gets to John and or Daenerys and tells them what they are to each other before anything happens. Now, of course, that doesn't guarantee that nothing will happen. It's just show likes to cross that line, but I'm hoping that that'll be enough for John to be like, oh, hell no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Honey, I'm good. I'm glad though that one moment in the cave was awesome. I love that John has his empirical evidence to be like, listen, I'm not crazy. People who were here long before me saw what I described and here it is. So, you know, deal with that. So I think that really helped him get his little bit of a validity with, um, with Daenerys about his story. Um, I really wish that Danny would just drop this whole bend the knee crap. Like, you know half the reason she likes Jon is because he won't. Like, just let it go. <sighs> On to the end. Oh my god, guys. That's, that was, that was so lit. That was amazing. That whole, oh my god, I need to watch it again. That's how good it was. That was, <sighs> like, I thought the Battle of the Bastards was like, the, that was my favorite fight, like, melee scene to this point topped by this one. Oh my god, from the cool stuff we saw with the Dothraki that we haven't seen before to, oh my god! It's the, it's the, 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 the dragon just burned a damn line through these people like a hot knife through butter! And I mean, the fool stayed there, that's what got me. I'm like, if I just saw a dragon fly over my head and burn, 
burn my friends to ash. Like this is even like they were just a little crispy, okay? Literally a strong wind came and they blew away like chaff in the wind, like they, they, they ceased to exist. That dragon literally returned them to the earth, y'all. I would have been gone. Screw this army, I would have been like, peace. She's got a dragon. Uh, this isn't fireproof. I gotta go. <gasps> Dick on. <laughs> wow, talk about a real drastic change in family there. Remember, that is Sam Tarly's brother. I mean, Dick on is fine, but not too bright. <sighs> Clearly the brains all went to one and the brawn to another. They keep bringing him up, so I feel like there's a reason we're seeing Dick on. I'm not sure where they're taking it, but I feel like Dick on and Sam are gonna, they're gonna interface at some point this season. And Jamie at the end, this fool. I have a feeling Jamie's gonna become a prisoner of war again. Um, and we'll see what happens. I very much look forward to seeing another Jamie and uh, Tyrion conversation now that their, their situations would be very reversed. Because the last time they would have seen each other, it would have been Tyrion being a prisoner and Jamie being at the place of advantage. It'll be quite interesting to see if um, it goes the way I think it is. And then we'll have Jamie as the prisoner and Tyrion as the man of advantage again. So. There's probably a lot more that happened in this episode, guys, but honestly, I'm still digesting what I saw and, and what I heard, and I'm just, oh my god, I can't believe we're only four episodes in. I am like, I'm exhausted, and yet I'm like, I could honestly go for another hour. <laughs> what did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you think this fight scene was just the most amazing thing ever? What do you think this whole John and Daenerys thing? Do you really hope, like I do, that they don't go there with the more than family relationship? Please leave your comments below. I love reading them. And guys, thanks so much for watching along with me. If you like this video, please click like. And if you want to see more from this geeky face, go ahead and click subscribe. Until next time, guys, see ya.